What's special about this garden? Of course, a sense of history and the very beautiful Jacobean manor house in the middle of it, which is a lovely backdrop to the borders. I love the way the garden sits in the countryside. I think the design is genius. It, it just blends into the landscape perfectly. The, the contrast through really, the garden between formality and wild garden and I think that's very powerful. There's no use of hedges and the boundaries between different areas are very subtle but very strong. I love the old trees that, that are still here and the, the meadows and the, just the character and the charm of the place, really. In this garden, we're trying to stick to the basic philosophy that Robinson applied to different areas. And where possible, we want to restore the hard landscaping. As far as the planting is concerned, we want to try and be uh, fairly progressive. And the reason for that is that Robinson was very innovative. and sometimes it doesn't work, but that's how, you, that's how you learn things and improve. And that keeps the garden exciting. If you always do the same old thing, it just becomes rigid. It, that's the beauty of a garden. It changes through the day with the light, through the seasons, with the change of the seasons. And each year it changes because you're always trying new things and planting new things. And um, that's one of the reasons I think it's wrong to copy a specific planting from a date because it's a fluid thing and I think that's part of the beauty of a garden. It's always something different. Yeah. Even the disasters can be quite fun. Yeah.